The Earth has experienced five mass extinctions because of natural causes, and we don't fully understand all of them. Nowadays, there's talk about a potential sixth mass extinction, and this time it's caused by just one species, humans. Some species have already disappeared right before our eyes. However, there are other species that are only surviving because humans are taking care of them in captivity. However, they might also disappear if we can't successfully reintroduce them into their natural habitats. In today's video, we'll go through six animals that are extinct in the wild but still live in captivity. Spix's Macaw In the forests of Brazil, you could once find the Spix's Macaw, also called the Little Blue Macaw. This stunning blue parrot is the rarest macaw globally, and sadly, it no longer exists in the wild. Unfortunately, this bird faced a slow decline from the time it was first identified in 1638. This is mainly because it used to rely on specific trees for nesting, feeding, and roosting, limiting its natural habitat. Deforestation in this small area, along with its specialized needs, made this bird scarce in the wild throughout the 20th century. Its last known population in the wild was in northeastern Brazil, and the last time someone spotted the bird in the wild was in 2016. In 1987, when there was a serious risk of extinction, there were only 17 Spix's macaws in captivity worldwide. Today, there are just under 200 confirmed birds in various breeding centers, and they have recently started reintroducing them into the wild. Scimitar Horned Oryx the scimitar horned oryx used to be found all over North Africa. Unfortunately, it was declared extinct in the wild in 2000. These oryxes lived in places with not too much rain, like semi-deserts and deserts, and they were really good at handling super hot temperatures. Their population started to drop a long time ago because of changes in the climate. And later on, in the 1980s, people hunted them a lot for their long, thin, and symmetrical horns. The scimitar oryx used to be a special symbol in ancient Egypt, connected to the oryx gnome. Today, there's a plan led by the environment agency Abu Dhabi and Chad. They're working with Sahara Conservation to bring back more than 240 of these animals from captivity to where they originally lived. Alagoas Curaçao The Alagoas Curaçao, also known as the Mitu Mitu, is a large bird, about 90 centimeters long, that used to live in a small area of the Brazilian Atlantic Forest. Since it was first described in 1648, there has been some confusion about what kind of bird it really is. People initially thought it might be the same as another more common bird, Mitu tuberosum, because it was so rare. But in 1951, they captured an adult female, and it turned out to be a different species. Unfortunately, by that time, there were only a few dozen of these birds left in the wild. In 1977, they captured five of these birds to try to breed them in captivity. They set up two aviaries in Rio de Janeiro for this purpose. Today, there are just over a hundred of these birds left in captivity, and because their original homes in the forest have been destroyed by people expanding into their territory, there are plans to release them into other areas. Panamanian Golden Frog The Panamanian Golden Frog, once a symbol of Panama and living in its cloud forests, is a poisonous toad that has been seriously affected by a fungal disease called chytrid fungus, which has wiped out the population. Sadly, no one has seen these frogs in the wild since 2006, and it's likely they're gone from their original homes. But there's hope. A team called Project Golden Frog, led by the Maryland Zoo in Baltimore, started collecting these frogs in 2000 to breed them in captivity. Now, more than 1,500 of these frogs are safe and sound in zoos and research places in North America and Panama. Even though this disease is still a problem in the wild, scientists believe these toads, with some new defenses against the deadly fungus, could one day go back to their homes. Hawaiian Crow Surprisingly, in Hawaii, a place usually not associated with crows, there's a special crow called Alala in the local language. It's actually the rarest crow in the world. Unfortunately, the last two wild ones disappeared in 2002, and in 2016, it was officially said to be extinct in the wild. Luckily, people had started breeding these crows in captivity back in the 1970s. They tried releasing them into the wild in the 1990s, but they had a problem. A local bird, the Hawaiian hawk, started attacking the released crows, so they had to catch them again. 
They're still working on figuring out how to successfully let these crows live in the wild, and they're actively involved in programs to make that happen. Guam Kingfisher The Guam Kingfisher, also known as Seek by the local people in Guam, is becoming a symbol of hope for conservation. Even though it disappeared from the wild over 30 years ago, ongoing efforts in captive breeding and conservation are giving it a chance to return to its natural habitat. The Guam Kingfisher is a small bird and endemic to the tropical island of Guam. Back in 1945, people said they were common, but their numbers dropped rapidly until the last wild bird was seen in 1988. During World War II, the U.S. military accidentally brought the brown tree snake to Guam. This invasive snake is a really hungry predator and quickly ate up all the birds on the island. Sadly, 9 out of Guam's 11 unique bird species disappeared because of it. The kingfisher somehow managed to survive, but was on the edge of extinction with only 29 wild ones left. To save the Guam kingfisher, the last 29 were caught and taken to breeding programs on the U.S. mainland. Today, there are ongoing efforts to bring it back to its natural habitat. That's it for today's video. Hope you learned something new, and don't forget to like and subscribe for future videos.